So we're going to look at addition today. We're going to look at adding two four digit numbers together. And first of all, I'm going to show you how we can do this representing it in images first. So to show this, I have created the ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So we can see here, we've got 1,482. And below here, we have 7,516. So these are being represented. You can see my individual ones here, and my lines of tens, my bases of a hundred, and you can see my cubes of a thousand. If you want to choose different shapes, that's fine, but this is the way that we would normally do it in school. So we can still represent this in column addition. It's 1,482 add 7,516 like this. Obviously in school, we'd use a ruler. So we can, on our column addition here, put our place value letters at the top as well, just so that we don't get confused and we know where the numbers are, so we don't put numbers in their wrong place value. So using this method, we always start with the ones. So we add the ones together, so we did do two add six. We can always add them all together, redraw them out. It's up to you, but two add six ones, equals eight ones. After that, we then move on to the tens. So we've got eight tens, add one ten, and that's nine tens. Then we've got four hundreds, add five hundreds, and that's nine hundreds. And then we get one thousand, add seven thousand. So we get 8,998 and so when we've done that we can say the total of 1,482 add 7,516 is 8,998. So that's our method there. So we'll now move on to our next question. Our next question involves addition with regrouping in hundreds. So at this point, you're probably very confident with regrouping in ones and tens, either regrouping 10 ones into a 10 or 10 tens into a hundred. This one, I'll just show you how to regroup 10 hundreds into 1,000. So to add this one, what we're going to write out our normal column method again. So I'm going to write out my 1,200, add 2,900. And of course, I'll draw my line underneath there. Now then, it's very important that we still keep our ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands so that we know where our place values are. So I've already completed the first part because we're adding zero ones and zero tens. So we've got zero here. And moving on to our hundreds now, we've got two hundreds and nine hundreds. Now then, if we look over here and we've added all of these up together, we know that we've got 11, but we're not able to actually write 11 hundreds here. So what we do with our 11 hundreds is that we regroup 10 of them into a thousand. So now I know that I've only got 100 left there. So we can see that one there. And then we've got our 10 hundreds that are the same as 1000. So I'll just mark my 1000 there. So then I can add my thousands go. So I've got 1,000, add 2,000, which makes 3,000. And we add the final thousand, which is 4,000. So we know that the answer then to 1,200 and 2,900 is 4,100. So my final method that I'm going to be showing you now is how we regroup ones, tens, and hundreds. So this one is using all the methods 
that you've done in year two and now are moving on. So we're going to look at this question now. You can see I've got my thousands, hundreds, tens and ones columns here. So I've got my first number, 1,153. And then we've got 4,959, see the 4,000s, 900s, 510s and 9 ones. You can see that 4,959. So I'll set it out as I have done before. So we've got 1,153, add 4,959 there. So I'll draw my lines again there. Okay, so beginning with the first one, three ones add nine ones, we have 12 ones. So if I was to just show that now, that I know I've got 10 here and two ones. So I can regroup this 10, 10 ones into a 10 there. So we've got two ones here. So represent that down here. So that's my 10 ones that have just been created in that column. And we've got five tens, add six tens. Now I know that's 11 tens. I also know that this lot here, I can regroup it, regroup it down here. So 10 tens makes 100. So I've got one 10 left over. And I've got a thousand there, remember? Because I've got 11 tens. So I've regrouped my 10 from my 11 there. I put my one 10 there. Moving on to this one now. We've got 100, add 900, add 100. So this would make 1100. So again, I can group a 10, 10 hundreds. And so my 10, 10 hundreds regroup and then they make a thousand. So going back to my hundreds now, I've got 100 left there. I've just regrouped and made a thousand there. So my final part of this, I've got 1,000, add 4,000, add 1,000. So 1,000 add 4,000 is 5,000. Then add the one, makes 6,000. So my answer is 6,112. Okay. Some parents that may be watching this might think that our regrouping is just the same as carrying over, but this is the way that we teach it in Millbank currently. So I hope that helps you with understanding, adding, and you put your skills to the test. Bye now.